morning. Welcome to live at 755 for this Friday, February 2nd. Thanks so much for joining me. Greatly appreciate your viewership here. Uh, Friday is one of those days we got through the week. We're heading into the weekend, got events this weekend, got a really fun fundraiser planned for the Delta County Chamber of Commerce. And I get to be the master of ceremonies for this weekend's event. So looking forward to that. Uh, some really cool things and cool ways to give away the prizes uh, we have planned upcoming this morning. Uh, or I should say tomorrow, I should say. Uh, good morning, Rob. Good morning, Casey Keller. Thanks for being here. And it's free for all. So whatever you guys want to chat about, uh, feel free to put in the comments below. Good morning, Ian. Good morning, Wes. Good morning, Frank. Uh, good morning, Robert. Go Pats. As we are pushing towards a Patriots win, hopefully on Sunday for one for the other thumb. <laughs> it's sad that I get to say that. At least I can say it with a chuckle uh, for the Patriots this weekend. So what do you want to chat about? Put in the comments below. Wes says, not Delta, fly Southwest. Good morning, Brita. Brita Miller is one of my fellow NSA speaker friends. I had a chance to hang with her at the MPI show in November where I spoke at. And she spoke at as well. And uh, I actually ordered your caregiver package for my mom, Brita. Uh, so that's going out to my mom here. So thank you very much for writing your book, The Caregiver Package. It is such a great cause uh, and, and people that you write for. And I'm so blessed to know you. Thank you. Thank you, Brita. Uh, good morning, Scott. Good morning, Kayleen. Casey Keller has a question that looks like. I can get to that. If you have met with a couple and know you are not the right fit, how do you tell them? Uh, very simply to me, how you tell them is let them go find someone else that might be the best fit for them. You know, oh, thank you, Brita. I'm glad you're setting my mom's gift today. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, a chance you could sign the book. I'd really appreciate that too. <laughs> I just never know unless you ask, you know. So uh, Casey, to answer your question, it's a fine line because you don't want to, you don't want to uh, uh, upset them certainly. But I would just sympathize them with them and say, "Hey, I I know it's a tough decision. Why don't you guys go home, think about it, you know, and let me know." And then at that point, you can make a choice uh, what to do. Uh, good morning, Woody. Greatly appreciate your viewership here. Now let's see who else we got here. Yeah, I heard Alexa was pulling for the Eagles as well, Michael. That that's awesome. Uh, let's go to what do other DJs tell their brides when they video the most popular dance songs? <laughs> oh, that's a great question, Johnny Miller. I love it. Uh, from that standpoint, honestly, I think it's a case of if you're only have video of the most popular dance songs of people dancing, <laughs> that doesn't say a whole lot about your DJ skills. I think I'll just end on the politically correct uh, thoughts on that. Uh, Robert Powell, wedding show coming up in a couple of weeks. Plan to not bring equipment, want to stand out. Absolutely, because you're not selling gear. They're not buying your speakers. They're not buying your TVs. They're not buying anything. They're buying you. They're buying what you can do for them, the outcome you can create for them. Uh, Vito, rather. Uh I guess I'm not understanding what, if I didn't answer that question correctly for you, Johnny, I'm not understanding your question. Uh, so I hope that, um, feel free to PM me, Johnny. Happy to, to chat about it offline if you want. Casey, how do you approach a venue to change your floor plan for the better of the event? Uh, good question. So the first thing on that, I believe it was Casey. Yeah, Casey. You need to be a client advocate from the start. This is why I'm also a big fan of getting uh, to work with your clients far in advance, you know, start the process six months out at least, because then you can become truly their advocate. And I often tell clients that we take a 30,000 foot view of their day because many event pros are only focused on their one niche, if you will, versus again, thank you, Mark Farrell. Those of you that like to go online and bash Mark Farrell on your shows on uh, other networks. Um, yeah, awesome. Kudos to you when you don't actually understand, you know, the concept. So I would encourage you to understand the concept before you sit there and bash it uh, in your offices. 
Um, so anyway, now that I just finished that little rant, um, <laughs> thank you, Mark Farrell, with the fact and getting what you're worth. If you actually listen to the seminar, uh, Mark Farrell talked about how the wedding reception, by definition, is an entertainment function. If it was just a food event, everyone would leave after two hours, uh, after an hour or so of food. If it was a floral event, my mom was a florist. Like, I love flowers and decor. Don't get me wrong. I, <laughs> I love it. But people will leave after an hour or two of looking at pretty stuff, you know? So people are there to celebrate with them. So who better to ensure that the floor plan is laid out for a successful event overall for the person that is going to be there the entire time for the client than the entertainment. So by having that conversation with your couples and being more of their advocate up front, and then again, positioning it as, hey, make sure it's the bride's idea. <laughs> uh, you don't wanna upset venues. I, I don't think that's a good thing. But again, having the bride be the one to go to them because it's her day, she's the boss. She gets to pick and choose uh, what she wants. So if she puts her foot down hard enough, I think that will happen. But again, you're just being the advocate. And again, if they decide a different layout, you have to go with it, run with it. As long as we all know up front, they all know up front, that it may not be the most ideal to get what they want out of the event. Uh, I hope that helps. Um, sorry for the quick rant. <laughs> Kind of, not really. Uh, bring your rock stars for the uh, for the wedding shows. Yes, Kayleen, you did great connecting with that couple, and I greatly appreciate you uh, moving them along in the sales process. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. Feel free to hit me up. Uh, what styles of music do you play for cocktail and dinner music, which are often overlooked? I think this is, again, a case, Wes, of reading your client's personality, understanding their quirks, going deeper. And a great segue on this. I am not the professor, if you will, regarding that. Uh, the person that I would definitely lean to on that concept is a man who has done programming at major radio stations throughout the Midwest and is an icon in our industry, and that is Jim Cerrone. And just so happens that Jim Cerrone is going to be presenting perfect music programming coming up at Midwest DJs Live 10. I do like that for a segue and a promo. <laughs> Uh, Jim Sarode is presenting at Midwest DJ's Live 10 upcoming on April 30th and May 1st at the Pottawatomie Hotel and Casino. So if you don't have your tickets yet for that, you need to get your tickets right now because let me tell you, Hotel Room Block is close to sold out if it isn't already. So you make, make sure you jump on tickets for that. Uh, if you want to learn more about perfect music programming, Wes, I can't, you know, again, I'm not the professor. I know you're going to be there, Wes, and I'm glad you're going to be there. Make sure your butt's in a seat for Jim Cerrone. Uh, it's going to be a great seminar and a great educational insight into how to choose different selections for cocktail and dinner versus the same old, same old. You play Sinatra? I mean, don't get me wrong. I love the chairman of the board as much as the next guy. But, yeah, that's the reality. Perfect host, yes. We're looking forward to welcoming the perfect host to uh, Midwest DJs Live 10, as well as Brian Bonasisi. We're looking forward to welcoming him as well. Uh, Mike Walter will be there. Uh, we've got a plethora of great presenters this year upcoming. We're really excited. Rob Peters is going to be there with us as well. Jamie Bodie on money management. Maria Mattarelli on agile for your DJ business. we got some great sponsors. EV is back uh, running the sound for us for our show. It's going to be awesome. We're very much looking forward to welcoming everyone to Milwaukee April 30th, May 1st. Uh, you're very welcome, Brian. Very welcome, Brian. Any other questions, thoughts, comments you want to throw in the chat today before we wrap up live at 75? Anyone? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Fry? No, I guess not. All right. Thanks so much for watching live at 75. Go rock your events this weekend. I'm looking forward to rocking mine. We will see you on Monday with another dose of your daily motivational kickstart that is live at 755. Bye.